evil, demonic, I and smell new shoes you can ever do to another man. Hold up! I smell new shoes! This man stepped on Granddad's new white voices! Oh, hell no! Nah, bro, this is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. Nah, nah, if you can play it back, look how we stepped on. Nah, -oh, that's a dude we eat. His whole leg had that hoe at a 90 degree angle and went, yeah! <laughs> so then Robert told Stinkminer, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stinkminer like, I mean, sure, all you did was just have to ask. <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? Yeah. No, nah, that's crazy. Ooh, what's up guys, I'm Don Red, and welcome to another reaction video. Uh, as you can see, this is something that I was just like, once I saw it, I stopped everything uh, I was doing. I was like, I gotta react to this, cause like he's been making hints and references and stuff like that to the show in general. But it's the fact that he got it on here and he's gonna be part of the round i hope stink meaner is part of the round table but if, if you don't know what i'm talking about the title of this video is stink meaner the personification of hatred i hope he makes the round table because it'd be absolutely hilarious now for those who are saying like he's not uh an anime style character or whatever he got omni man and uh some other characters on there who aren't anime based it's just anybody who brings off black force energy it's just most of them have to be anime and uh, happen to be anime but subscribe if you're new comment what you want to see next without further ado let's get into this video to dislike a nigga intensely or passionately to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily basis now you see ladies and gentlemen there are just many haters in fiction just in general for an example, Reverse Flash. I mean, yeah. this man hates Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. It's like a severe case of meat munching and hell eating. Then obviously, you know, we got your D.O.'s, your Freezers, your flat nose, no nostril, Voldemort, how does that nigga smell? And yo, you even got your scars. Mm. Ah, scar, please help me. What the fuck, pull me up. Long live the king. Adios, ah! But ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing oh, on might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. Stinkman. Oh man. Exhibit A. Oh, right into it. All right, right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. To understand the philosophy of stink meaner and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the nigga moment. An altercation caused by ignorance, overwhelming the logic, otherwise rational thinking of a brother. At this point in time, if you ain't seen Boondock, I mean, you should just watch it itself, honestly, but because that's basically where he comes from now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration <laughs> Yep. Hey, watch where you going nigga. Hey, hey, what you say to me cuh? Now as you can see this is, is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses So they start to get to blasting and miss every single shot like they just got off the it, set it. of a new hoe And it, once they realize they I just both it, wasted it. each other's time They end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away mm -hmm. But too late They all end up dead now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, Stinkmeter was always an old, hating, bitter ass. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this some old bush. At age 15, <laughs> Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is. Okay, I'm laughing so hard about it because he literally did that scene word for word. Okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm definitely gonna enjoy this video. He didn't care. 
He was just glad that he ain't had to see shit no more. So doctors only <laughs> gave him three years left to see live. Your ugly so ass he no decided more. for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just sing giggles. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is, bro, is basically a Sith Lord. The hatred drove him to live every single day. Now later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan Altima in Atlanta, not giving a care in the world. Jesus Christ, it's like truck who done possessed this man. I think I hit a wheelchair on the way over here. About it. Who in the hell gave this old blonde nigga a driver's license? Whoever is or a vehicle. This, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now, as we can see, this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50, and he starts bagging in the gray ass car. And he's like, hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space. This is handicapped. So this man gets <laughs> out of his car and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 1-800-collecting ass whooping, partner. So granddad says, yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. <laughs> you got a problem with that, nigga? And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a moment. So oh he was my saying, God. yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man stink meaner like, well, I'll be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car. Brother, you best have insurance. Nigga, you, you better have, have insurance. insurance. Ass whooping insurance. Because you about to, to pay a deductible. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, granddad can either do two things right now. A, walk away and let insurance handle it. Or oh my B, gosh. fight with an old crazy blind man. And uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So Steve Meaner just start pressing him. He just start spitting in his face. He like, what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. You gonna do something about it? Bitch ass, nigga. <laughs> and then Stink Meaner ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, I and smell new things shoes. you can ever do to another man. Hold up. I smell new shoes. This man stepped on Granddad's new white voices. Oh, hell no. Nah, bro. This is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. Nah, nah. If you can play it back, look how we stepped on. Nah, no, oh, that's a dude we eat. His whole leg had that hoe at a 90 degree angle and went, yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. That's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he's like, yeah. They ain't new anymore, are they? Nigga. And then, this was the final straw that made Granddad tick. So Granddad swing at him, but we Brunt dodges it, and he's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. my and it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got oh, your Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, my knee, my bad knee. So Huey had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, it's over. So later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just start making fun of him. Yeah. And Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind nigga? Then later that night while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, look on the news and he like, this just in, a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. And it wasn't just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. Brother got niggas in Mexico City calling him a piñata. So then the phone started ringing and guess who left a voicemail? Uncle Ruckus. Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now, I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So, you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Robert, hello? Don't you walk away from this ass machine. So, it got so bad to the point that later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meaner, and challenged him to a fight. So, Granddad started training thinking he Ali or something, because Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting this. Mm -hmm. He's about to watch Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate or something. So, now it's the night of the fight, and it is packed. Riley out here overcharging for $10. So they start squaring up and stink meaner like, yeah, you scared? You scared? Ain't you bitch, nigga? Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. <laughs> That's vintage. So he starts swinging and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my God, this ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. Got lucky. He's just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. 
Granddad started whooping that ass. Bro, I gave him a sword. You got tiger and started kicking up like hard rain. And then Granddad loaded up and knocked him out. Whoa. Fatality. Dead. And he didn't just knock him out. Granddad killed, killed him. All because he got trapped in a moment. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. He come back as a ghost. Oh I my mean, god. Well, as a demon. I now present to you Exhibit B, the return. So as we know, Stink Meaner died. But little did we know. This hell couldn't hold him. Beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing demons. And even the devil said, He's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. This man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest he's ever seen. Yeah. That is the most legendary feat of all time. He even called the devil a bitch, bitch ass, ass nigga. nigga. So the devil's like, Turtle H. Stink Meter, I am now sending you back to spray ignorance and hatred in the black community. Ah, hell ain't shit. <laughs> Why you free man? Yeah, that's basically yeah, that's it. That's how that happened. Who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But even Stink Meter knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during that n moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nick poop you, you can't do that, hey. Hey, hey, come back here. I have my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing him out. He like, <laughs> you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass, nigga. I'll beat your mother to the ass, yes, nigga. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now as we yeah, can Tom that has been trapped in a n moment. And this was a perfect time. For stink meter to make his move. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Who's this man? Talk WWE drop kicks this man. And he's like, oh yeah, look at ya. You was talking about that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked in right your chest. chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat a dick. Oh, oh my god, I am so sorry. Uh, so, so, somebody call an ambulance. Hey, help! Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. So this man, Stink Meaner, got him acting up in the courtroom. Bro got up in there and said, F your court, nigga! <laughs> then later on, bro goes home to Tom's wife, and he's like, Oh yeah, I want to be up in booty cheeks. <laughs> oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? Have sexual relations. Not to you. And he beats his wife's cheeks <laughs> up. Oh my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl doonies. Nah, but it's crazy. So then later on, Stink Meter pulls up to Robert. Sneak. <laughs> now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. Oh, you know, like it's crazy. Like if you watch the actual thing, this man was like butt ass naked. You can see everything. It. <laughs> Boom Dogs was ahead of his time. So Dog starts tearing the door down with an axe, and he's like, I'm back. Like, yo, what in the shining is going on right now? So Granddad starts running down the steps. Jesus Christ, this man's whole package is hanging out. So State Men are saying, You don't remember me? You don't remember my name? What's my name, nigga? What's my name, Robert? What's my name? So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap, and this man stink me to going crazy. Bro, a body Huey smack Riley around, and he is still continuing to body the whole family. Look at this chop. <laughs> then he's like, yeah, all y'all got, nigga. Dude, look at his backhand to Huey. Oh my gracious. So they finally end up pinning him down and Riley had to smack this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him restrained on this bed and Robert oh, was having this, this part. date. So in the middle of his date, Stink me to wake up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. Oh, honey, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. Oh, 
You weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up having to call the Catholic Church to exercise this man. So there was only one man that could save the day. May God bless you, Robin. I came as fast as I could. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God, I will get demonetized. You sure My will. brother will make excuses. If he get desperate, that brother may try to rap. Oh yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they <laughs> get up in this room and Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read, nigga, read. <laughs> Start beating this man on the bed and saying some oh. phrases that I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. But then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up exercising his spirit and sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. It was a clone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present well, to you Exhibit C. It's them, yeah. Hateocracy. Yeah. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if there's a part D. The Cause he had like a, a group clone. Of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stinkmeaner, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Great Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated everybody else even more. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. Look at them stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. B4, B4. Bingo nigga. Now what the f I win? Give me that shit. Eventually it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop them because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually till they split up. But because of the death of stink meaner, the hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, we cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh hell no, nah, what the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for, the Curious George exhibit? We looking for a man named Robert Freeman. Oh hell no, y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then, good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. Whip his ass, Rufus. <laughs> Breaking news, a man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something, them damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. So yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, oh um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing obviously something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, no, nah, nah, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy, and they is teeing off. Oh, my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she beat the hell out of Riley. Oh, and a uh, fun fact, she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with, but she oh. hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely- Oh, that, I didn't know that. Nah, but Riley got his sh red, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight, mm. but they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing, but he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Stingmeter? Oh, wait. You already should, because you killed him. 
Grab it, Freeman! So bruh starts swinging this. I don't even know what that is. So Robert start get to step, but dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh lord. So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be a Did absolutely so nothing. So the end up pulling up to their house. So they start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he low-key start... Yeah. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, oh but I mean... Working him! Oh my god! Look how he beat old girl. Beat the wig off that bitch. Then he went, BOOM! Then he hit him with the finish. Oh, god! Nah, bro. This man Bushido Brown was cold. But I say was because uh, that nigga's life was past tense. Yeah. This car that man and oh my god <clears throat> you know you gotta censor a lot of stuff now on youtube because uh, you're that new policy you don't want to make mama susan mad now do you <laughs> so granddad started apologizing he's like okay bro listen listen i'm sorry i killed steak meaner i am sorry i had a nigga moment but then they end up saying mm, we don't give a f about no stink meaner i beg your pardon yeah he was our nigga but it don't matter we just came to f shit up what no no bro <laughs> This whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No, they literally came and did all this all for shits and giggles. Nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. Now let's, I'm about to say, Thank yeah, baby. there we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to say it didn't end just there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uncharted territory. The territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit B. I now present to you the clone. Yeah. So you see, Steak Meaner wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steak Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and the government made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Steak Meaner and it says, Dear Clone Me, go f with that nigga Robert from OG Steak. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the best of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? That's right, I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to fuck up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh nah, bruh. I ain't having this today. I'm just gonna have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's steam meter is moving. And he's like, oh yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look at that headbutt, judo throw, sidekick, boom. And people recording Robert getting bodied, man. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops mm -hmm. ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Cause later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype, any of y'all remember Skype, man? Yeah. Matter of fact, does anybody even still use Skype? But anyways, nah. Steve being on the phone and he like, what's good, nigga? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. Robert. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meter. But then this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meter. So uh, I bailed him out. And now we're gonna have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a yeah. whole fight, a televised event with promotional material and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side <laughs> was taking over and he was slowly becoming, becoming more like yeah. stink meaner. So it's the night of the fight and you- Uh oh. Uh, one second you guys. A few moments later. Alright, sorry about that. Had to get some, but uh for this fight, here something we go. was happening to him. The dark side <laughs> was taking over, and he was slowly becoming more like stink meaner. So it's the night of the fight, and you can obviously see the difference in him. Man's got the ball spot and everything. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight, and Robert just kicked him in the face. So Stink Meter like, oh, I see. You must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! So yeah, bro, this wasn't even a fight. Robert gave this man the most absolute beatdown of the century. But the thing is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is is just Robert under Stink Meter's influence. Mm -hmm. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy. An old hating ass nigga. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at 
the whole crowd, bruh. It's just silent. And then this man, Ed, like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. A flop. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stinkminer, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stinkminer like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. So we cut three months He's later. Still messing and with this him. this man Stinkminer outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stink over? That's f What's up, Robert? So Robert come through the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Mina say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. See you tomorrow at 7. Uh, uh, okay, this was just like a little fun episode. I guess he doesn't get to the round table. But yeah, that that was funny. And it's the fact that he was quoting a lot of the stuff that they said in the show, which has made it funnier for me. It just had me reliving a lot of those moments. But uh, you guys let me know what you think about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share if you have any requests. Come at the bottom of this video. Hit me on my social media. It should be in the description below. Subscribe and comment what you want to see next. To the next video, you guys. See ya.